Hi, Dr. Mahesh here. Today I am going to show endoscopic interlaminar decompression for degenerative list disease. This is the MRI of a 50 year old patient with stable degenerative list disease L45 with canal stenosis. This patient has back pain radiating to both lower limbs more on the right side for the past few years. Patient was on conservative treatment without any relief. This requires only a decompression and not stabilization and fusion. In this case, a stenoscope was used. The level is marked. Lamina, facet joint and ligamentum flavum are exposed. A 5 mm burr is being used to do laminotomy. In a degenerative listesis, we have to be very very conservative with the facet resection. Too much facet resection will exaggerate the instability and can cause problems. Facet resection has to be very very conservative. Once the lamina is thinned out, carisons of various sizes are used to complete the laminotomy. Laminotomy is done till you see the free edge of the flavum proximally. Now I am using a 4 mm oval burr to fine tune the facet resection. This burr helps in fine tuning the facet resection and also helps in controlling the bleeding. Ligamentum flavum always protects the dura from any injury. The burr tip is blunt and it will not cause any dural or neural injury. Now we go down to the superior edge of L5 lamina which is resected with the carisons to free the flavum inferiorly. There will be some epidural bleeding which can be controlled with radio frequency. Now we go laterally to expose the ascending facet. This is a 2 mm carisons. So we resect about 2 mm of ascending facet. Now we are exposing the base of the spinous process base of the spinous process is again undercut with the oval burr this step is important so that we can go over the top dura and decompress the opposite side now a four millimeter carison is used to release the flame from midline once the flavum is released from all four sides, it can be picked up and removed en masse as one piece. Now we complete the decompression by doing over top decompression. Now we can see the contralateral root its lateral root, dural sac, the opposite side facet joint very clearly. The facet is very well preserved. Post-operative MRI scan shows excellent decompression 
the axial sections show that the facets are very well preserved with adequate decompression of dural sac patient was discharged in a day thank you and i will see you in my next video